Hi guys, so the biggest question we receive in Arctic Edge from clients is how to put your app onto the iOS account in South Africa because it's really not that straightforward. You'd think that you just go on the website and register and pay and then it's all done. But in actual fact, there are a couple of processes that you need to prepare for before you submit your app. So the very first thing you're going to need to do is create an Apple ID account. So this is very basic. You can literally just do it by going onto Google and typing in an Apple ID account. Okay, from there you can just literally go and create an account. So your Apple ID account is the most basic account you can get. So it'll take you a couple of minutes and you'll be able to obtain an account. So once you receive that, you can move on to the next step. So the biggest challenge comes in where you will go to something called an Apple Developer Program. So on Google, again, you could say Apple Developer Program. Okay, from and then you'll see the very first search items where you would go. Okay, see so at the top, you see something called Enroll. Okay, so you click a role and then you think, okay, well, this is very straightforward in my individual organization. Let me carry on. Well, the main thing that everybody misses is something called a dunce number. <clears throat> okay, and this dunce number is something that's going to stop you through your registration process and make you very, very frustrated. So the dunce number cannot be obtained through done in Bradstreet, which is in America, how other companies, other, other, sorry, other countries go through um, the submission process, you need to go through something called TransUnion because we're in South Africa. So TransUnion, if you go and Google TransUnion dance number, you'll see the very first one that comes up is contact us. So over here, you'll see dnb at transunion.co.za you need to send them proof of company registration and contact details so it is your address postal address and phone number you can phone them but ultimately they're going to tell you to email them anyway so there's no real point in calling the only time you can call is once you have submitted this information and they've sent you your dunce number so once you've received your dunce number on email it's still can take up to a month for it to become something called global. You need to ask them and check up with them every, I would say maybe after a week or two, is my dance number global? Only after they've confirmed that it is global, they've given you some sort of search portal to go through to find that dance number and ensure that it's global, you can continue with your enrollment process. Once you've done that, which again, it could take up to about a month for this process, you can then submit your app. And once you've submitted your app to the store, it can still also take up to a month for them to accept and authenticate and submit your app live. Although this is really frustrating, they are doing it to ensure that the apps that are going on their stores are of quality and that security is being enforced. So. Although a lot of our clients get frustrated and blame Apple, okay, yeah, you know, that's irritating, it's frustrating, we don't want to have to go through all this. It really is essential and it's necessary because otherwise it's just going to be a free fall. So nothing against the other app stores, love them all the same, just specifically Apple has got its protocols and we just have to ensure that we abide by their rules so that we can ensure a successful app submission if they do for any reason if you don't go through all these channels ensure that you know your developers as well are informed of what apple requires for a submission they could send it back and that submission could again take up to another month so you could be looking at months before your app is live so just ensure that your developers understand that there is a process involved if you are say five or six months late, your app is just, <laughs> every development has that problem. Sometimes it just goes over, you know, deadline, not always, but sometimes. You can do something called an expedite. So you could say Apple, sorry, Apple store expedite. My spelling's awful, but it's okay. 
click the wrong one. You can go to expediting an Apple review. So now expediting an Apple review means that you will sign in in your developer account and you will send them the reasons why they need to expedite it. So expediting means that you've really run behind schedule and you literally can't wait. You have to have it up now and you have to give them proof and reasons of why. So say you've, for some reason, your developers have not informed you of this process of the dunce number and the dunce number is going to take a while to initiate, but you have set up a big event for some reason you've gone and you know paid the installments and everything you can't get out of it and it's in a week you can send them you know proof of payment that that has happened over that time and they will expedite that so in in other words they'll push it through quicker than other apps because it's of great importance so it's not something to abuse but it is something to keep into consideration please leave comments thank you so much for listening to this tutorial on how to submit your app to the Apple Store in South Africa. And if you have any other questions, please visit us at www.arcticedgeapps.co.za.